and welcome back to the Aluminum Empire. This little video is going to help us focus on how to calculate rivet length. Rivet math is where we spend a good bit of time because uh, some people are just not quite as comfortable with math or maybe it's been a while and you're getting back in the habit. So we're going to look at rule number two when we're calculating the proper size rivets. Rule number one was to solve for diameter and we covered that three times the thickest sheet and then round up. Rule number two, we're focusing on length. And rule number two is simply this, total material thickness. So we would take all of our stack up, no matter how many sheets of metal are there, and we would get our total material thickness and then guess what? There's always a little second part. This time, instead of round up, once we've added our total thickness, then we're gonna add one and a half diameter. See, that's why we need that diameter information first in order to solve for this. So we're gonna take our total thickness add one and a half diameters and this time instead of rounding up we're going to round to the nearest length so we're going to have to look up or down in order to solve this problem we're going to practice one together let's say our total stack up once again we'll start with our practice that we did on the first rule we're going to take two sheets of 40 thousandths of an inch material. So the first part of the rule says we're going to take total stack up. So 40 thousandths plus 40 thousandths, well, that's 80 thousandths. Now the next part of this rule is to add one and a half diameters. Now from the previous video, we determined that it was a number four rivet. And a number four rivet is also equal to 430 seconds, which is also equal to, if we simplified everything, one eighth of an inch. But we need that in decimal form. See, it's a lot easier to work that way. So we could say one eighth, one divided by eight is going to be 0.125. So here's what we could do. We could add this to our 80 thousandths. And that would account for one diameter, but the rule states one and a half diameters. So we would also need to come back and add a half of this number four which if we took half of 0.125, that would be 0 0.0625. Now, if we add all of these together, we're gonna end up, and let me do some calculation so I don't make a mistake, 0 0.080 plus, 0.125 plus, 0 0.0625 equals, point two six seven five now that would be our total stack up plus one and one half diameter to get our total we would need to round to our nearest fraction or our nearest rivet length well in this case we're seeking the length and remember from previous videos, the length is always going to be in 1 16th of an inch. So what if we just multiplied our 0.265 times 16, that's what we're seeking, we would end up with a 4.24. Well, now rivet lengths 
typically come in holes and halves. There is a 4.5 rivet. That's a half size, not used every day, but used occasionally. Let's focus for the purpose on this course. Our dash number would need to be a dash four. And if you say, well, why four, Jay? Well, in this case, since that wasn't a 4.5 or higher, we would in this case round down to a dash four rivet. Now let's take a minute and let's review what we've just done. We started with our total material stack up. We added it to end up with 80 thousandths total. We took our diameter from rule one in finding diameters, and we had determined there a number four was the right diameter for that stack up. So a number four, we could simply say 430 seconds, or you could divide them and come up to 125 thousandths. So we added one diameter to our list, but the rule calls for one and a half. So we took that, halved it, we come back, put that on our list, then we simply totaled everything down to arrive at this number. We multiplied it by our desired denominator. Links are always in sixteenths. We come up to a 4.24. And in this case, since it wasn't 4.5 or greater, we didn't go to a number five. We rounded down to a dash four rivet. So based on this, rule number one, and rule number two for this particular material stack up, we're going to end up with a 430 seconds by 4 sixteenths rivet. Now, if this was going to be our most commonly used rivet, that would be a 2117 rivet, single dimple. Remember that, that's the most commonly used, has a single dimple. It's called a field rivet. Now let's put the whole code back together and we'll go order some of these rivets. Well, to start with, we're gonna be in that MS for that mil spec 20 category. I wanna use a protruding head or universal head, so that's a 470. I wanna use a 2117 or a single dimple that would be an AD. And then finally, my diameter would be a four and my length would be a four. So by applying those two rules and knowing a little bit about the code, we can take our sheet metal information only, use these rules, do the math, and we can determine the exact correct rivet and then we can convert that into the code in order to order those rivets or to go pull them out of supply. I know that there's a lot going on here, so practice this. Uh, use some different sheet thicknesses. I commonly like to throw out common thicknesses. Uh, practice with that set of thickness and do number one from the previous video and number two. If that one works well, let's try some different thicknesses and practice this. We'll, we'll cover it in class well, we'll help each other. But the idea at the end of the day, I want you kind of comfortable with this concept. Remember, follow the rules. If you have trouble, uh, get in contact, see me in class. We're gonna do plenty of these on the board. But for now, as always, do good work, be safe.